Welcome to Iceland. This is our first part of Iceland series. Excursion into Lava Tube Cave. If you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe now and stay connected. We are going to do a cave trekking. It's a lava tube, lava tube cave, and the name of the cave is Leather in the Cave. The cave is formed uh, by flowing lava. With our helmets and safety gears on, now we are ready to explore the dark cave. These are all the lava fields. All you can see here are the solidified lava. These have, these have erupted thousands of years ago and gradually cooled down to form these fields. All over here you can see only lava and lava. So welcome to Leiðrarendi. This means the end of the journey or the end of the way in Icelandic, like the end of the path, either one. It's obvious I am a geologist. Uh, I have my, I'm doing my master's at the University of Iceland doing uh, studying volcanoes. So if you have any geology or volca uh, volcano questions, please feel free to ask me. Uh, I love jabbering on about it and oh, could good. talk about it all day. So. So we're gonna head down this into this cave. Uh, out in front of me. Uh, the best path is to go along the side here and then down, uh, down, there's kind of some steps that have been made by the fallen rock. So I will lead you down. If you have any trouble finding your footing, let me know. I will gladly help you. And so if you use these rocks here as yep. a way to get down, I'm just gonna yep. help you with this. We entered right here, so this section of the cave is where we're coming through, and we're about to head down this bit here. We'll be coming back the same way we came, and then if we're really feeling adventurous, we may continue on into this loop. Um, so we'll see how we're doing once we get back, okay? It's dark inside and it's cold and we are inside the lava tube cave. The entire cave is formed by lava. It's exciting. It's exciting. Yes. Come on. Best to Deja. I don't see the kiki. I can stay straight, straight now. Uh. No. You, you can. Step up, stay low. It's about three, four meters, and then you can step down again, okay? Uh. How are you feeling? Uh, so you got You're okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Little crystal eyes right there. <laughs> it's too dark. You can see it's nice and It's too dark, yeah. yeah. If we if we switch off our headlights, then it's like this. It's like this. It's all of this. So we have these lights on our helmets.
So as you come through, you can uh, keep an eye on the floor. You can see a bunch of these cool looking uh, things that look a little bit different from what we've been stepping on. Tragically, in 2007, someone decided that it was going to look nicer in their living room than it would in the cave. Oh. Yeah. And they drip from the ceiling or from the sides of the walls and land on the floor. And they build up these little towers of drips. We'll be seeing quite a few of these. So, you know, if you can't get a picture right now, you'll be able to get plenty of pictures later on. Yep. All right. So we're going to head down into the cave itself. Uh, please watch your step as you go. Like I said, the floor is not even. This is all natural lava here. down and there was a bit of pressure release and this pressure release allowed for a new uh, it allowed for a bit of remelting to occur and this remelting came through the cracks in the wall and dripped down onto this lovely little uh, lovely little first section of crawling okay mind doing how to do it it is not far it's just a quick you know couple meters and then you'll be able to get on your feet again okay it's not bad <laughs> so this is the lion's head. Now all these drip marks that we see on the ceiling, those are the same remelting textures that we saw before. But this has three faces, the sculpture I'm looking at. His long straight nose, his eye, and then the close cropped haircut on top. The long yeah, straight nose, nose. eye. Yeah. If you liked our video then hit the like button and share it. Subscribe to our channel for more travel videos. Keep roaming!